Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. We are back with another pre-con game. Today we are fighting with the new commander decks from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. A big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring today's video. If you want to pick up these decks, be sure to check out the link in the description. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zeb, Paladin Admiral Brass, Unsinkable. This deck uses pirate synergies to overwhelm the board and leverages its commander for pirate recursion. Zeb's opening hand contains a Choked Estuary, Crumbling Necropolis, Fathom Fleet Captain, Nefalia Drownyard, Corsair Captain, Departed Dockhand, and an Arcane Signet. Next, we have Emma, also known as Misty Step on Socials, Pounding Pantlaza, Sun Favored. This deck seeks to use its commander to create explosive board states in very short order. Emma's opening hand contains a Rogue's Passage, Verdant Sun's Avatar, Forest, Rampant Growth, Thriving Heat, Earthshaker Dreadmaw, and a Sunfrill Imitator. After that we have Justin Parnell, piloting Clavellino, First of the Blast. This deck seeks to put lots of vampires onto the battlefield and then turn them into large demons whenever they die. Justin's opening hand contains a Secluded Courtyard, Dusk Legion Zealot, Swiftfoot Boots, Tainted Field, Swamp, and his London Mulligans are a Plains and Olivia's Wrath. Finally we have Ryan, piloting Hawkball of the Surging Soul. This deck seeks to cast a bunch of merfolk, then make them large through the explorability on its commander. Ryan's opening hand contains a Vine Glimmer Snarl, Forest, Emperor Mihail II, Kodama's Reach, Quandrix Command, Reliquary Tower, and an Arcane Signet. Without further ado, let's kick off this king size killer Kindred Keepsake. Zeb won the Charlie Charlie Challenge and gets to start us off. Zeb draws a card for turn and plays a Crumbling Necropolis into play tapped. Zeb passes. Emma draws and plays a Thriving Heath, naming red as it enters. Emma passes. Justin draws and plays a Secluded Courtyard, naming Vampire as it enters. Justin ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Vine Glimmer Snarl into play untapped, revealing a forest as it enters. Ryan chips the turn. Zeb draws and plays a Nefalia Drownyard. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts an Arcane Signet. He casts a Fathom Fleet Captain. Everyone knows that Zeb is now the threat, and Zeb sends the turn to Emma. Emma draws and plays a Forest. They cast Rampant Growth. They fetch up a mountain onto the battlefield tapped and pass to Justin. Justin draws and plays a Swamp. He casts Dusk Legion Zealot. It enters and he loses a life and draws a card. Justin ships the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Forest. He casts an Arcane Signet and passes the turn. Zeb draws and casts Corsair Captain. It enters and Zeb creates a treasure. He casts Timestream Navigator. Zeb passes to Emma. Emma draws and plays a Rogue's Passage. They cast Drover of the Mighty. Emma ends their turn. Justin draws and plays a Tainted Field. He casts his commander, Clavellino, First of the Blessed. He moves to combat and attacks Emma with Dusk Legion Zealot. Emma takes it and Justin passes the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Reliquary Tower. He casts a Kicked Thieving Skydiver. It enters and gains control of Zeb's Soul Ring. Ryan passes. Zeb draws and plays a Choked Estuary into play tapped. He casts a Cunning Rhetoric. <laughs> now, before you go into the comments and say, hey, that's not in the Pirate's Precon, you'd be right. Zeb unfortunately mixed up a card or two when he sleeved up his Precon and this one got mixed in. It's a Precon game and we're all having fun, so let's continue. He moves to combat and attacks Justin with his Fathom Fleet Captain. Justin takes it and Zeb ends his turn. Emma draws and casts Kinjali's Sunwing. Emma passes. Justin draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with his creatures. Clavellino triggers and becomes a demon. Ryan takes it, and in his second main phase, Justin casts Nighthawk Scavenger. He plays an Orzhov Basilica into play tapped, returning a swamp to his hand. Justin ends his turn. Ryan draws and casts Kodama's Reach. He fetches up an island onto the battlefield tapped and a forest into his hand. He plays the Temple of the False God as his land for turn. He casts Wave Goodbye, bouncing all creatures to their owner's hands. The table sighs, and Ryan passes the turn. Zeb draws and plays a Gyre Reach Sanitarium. He casts Corsair Captain, creating a treasure as it enters. He casts Time Stream Navigator, gaining the city's blessing as it enters. Zeb ends his turn. Emma draws and casts Drover of the Mighty. Emma passes. Justin draws and plays a Swamp. He casts Dusk Legion Zealot, losing a life and drawing a card as it enters. He casts Nighthawk Scavenger. He passes. Ryan draws and plays a Forest. He casts a Kicked Thieving Skydiver again. It enters and gains control of Zeb's Arcane Signet. He casts Emperor Mihail II. Ryan ends his turn. Zeb draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts Daring Saboteur. He moves to combat and attacks Emma with Corsair Captain. Emma takes it and Zeb ships the turn. Emma draws and casts their commander, Pantlaza, Sun Favored. It enters and Emma discovers four, revealing Death Gorge Scavenger casting it. Emma passes, discarding to hand size. Justin draws and plays a Swamp. He recasts his commander, Clavellino. He casts Swiftfoot Boots. He equips Boots onto his commander. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Nighthawk Scavenger and Clavellino. Clavellino triggers and becomes a demon. Cunning Rhetoric triggers and Justin exiles Etchings of the Chosen off of the top of his library. Zeb takes four and Justin gains two. Justin ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays Unclaimed Territory, naming Merfolk as it enters. He casts his commander, Hawkfall of the Surging Soul. He casts Master of the Pearl Trident. Mihail triggers, Ryan pays one, creating a 1-1 one -one Merfolk. He moves to combat and Hawkball triggers for each of Ryan's creatures. Ryan reveals a Rogue's Passage into his hand, Hinterland Harbor into his hand, Myriad Landscape into his hand, 
island into his hand and a ruinous intrusion leaving it on top putting a plus one plus one counter onto his merfolk token all through ryan passes at the end of ryan's turn zeb activates time stream navigator putting it onto the bottom of his library getting an extra turn zeb draws and casts malcolm keen-eyed navigator he casts fathom fleet captain he moves to combat and attacks justin with corsair captain and daring saboteur justin takes five malcolm triggers and zeb creates a treasure in his second main phase he casts departed deckhand zeb moves to his extra turn Zeb draws and casts Etchings of the Chosen from Exile. In response, Ryan casts Quandrix's Command, countering Etchings and bouncing Malcolm to Zeb's hand. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Departed Dock Hand and attacks Justin with Fathom Fleet Captain. Captain triggers, Zeb pays 2, creating a 2-2 Pirate with Menace. They both take 3, and Zeb ships the turn to Emma. Emma draws and plays a Forest. They cast Dinosaur Egg. Pant Laws the triggers, Emma discovers 3, revealing Soul Ring, casting it. They cast Ascendant's Path. Emma passes. Justin draws and plays a Swamp. He casts Viscera Seer. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with Dusk Legion Zealot and Nighthawk Scavenger. Clavelino triggers and Zealot becomes a Demon. Cunning Rhetoric triggers and Justin exiles a Swamp. Zeb takes 6 and Justin gains 5. In his second main phase, Justin casts March of the Canonized where X equals 4. It enters and Justin creates 4 Vampires with Lifelink. Justin ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Hinterland Harbor. He moves to combat and each of his Merfolk trigger through Hawkball. He reveals a Path of Ancestry into his hand, reveals a Kamina, Tyrant of Araska, leaves it on top, and gives Skydiver a counter, then reveals Kamina for each other merfolk, giving each of them a counter, leaving it on top. He attacks Justin with Hawkball. It triggers, and Ryan puts a Rogue's Passage onto the battlefield. Justin blocks with a Vampire, and Justin gains a life. In his second main phase, Ryan casts Kamina, Tyrant of Araska, from the top of his library through Emperor Mihail II. Emperor triggers, Ryan pays 1, creating a Merfolk. He casts Kiora's Follower from the top of his library through Emperor Mihail. Mihail triggers, Ryan pays 1, and creates another Merfolk. Ryan taps 3 Merfolk to activate Kamina, drawing a card. He casts Merfolk Mistbinder through Emperor Mihail. Finished up, Ryan passes. Zeb draws and casts Feed the Swarm, targeting Kumena. In response, Ryan activates Kumena, tapping 3 Merfolk and drawing a card. He taps 3 more to draw another card. Then Kamina dies, and Zeb loses 3 life. Next, Zed plays a Swamp from Exile through Cunning Rhetoric as his land for turn. He recasts Malcolm. He moves to combat and attacks Justin with Departed Deckan and Ryan with Fathom Fleet Captain and Daring Saboteur. Justin takes 3, Ryan takes 6, and Malcolm and Daring Saboteur trigger. Zeb draws and discards, then creates 2 treasures. All through, Zeb passes. During Emma's upkeep, they reveal Forest through Descendant's Path, putting it on bottom. Emma draws and casts Verdant Sun's Avatar. It enters, Emma gains 5 life, and Pentlaza triggers. Emma discovers 5, revealing Thunderhead Migration, casting it, revealing Runic Armosaur from their hand. Emma then fetches up a Plains onto the battlefield tapped. Then Dinosaur Egg evolves, getting a plus one plus one counter. Emma passes. At the end of Emma's turn, Ryan casts Ruinous Intrusion, targeting March of the Canonized. March is exiled, and Ryan puts two plus one plus one counters onto Emperor Mihail II. Still in the end step, Justin activates Viscera Seer, sacrificing Dusk Legion Zealot. Zealot triggers through Cavalino, and Justin draws a card and creates a 4-3 Demon. Then Justin scries one, leaving it on top. The turn moves to Justin. Justin draws and casts Blood Artist. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Clavelino triggers, and Justin makes one of his lifelink vampires into a demon. Ryan takes 15, and Justin gains 8. In his second main phase, Justin casts Foul Rebirth. He sacrifices a vampire and creates a 4-3 demon. Blood Artist triggers, Emma loses a life, and Justin gains a life. He casts Promise of Aklazots from Exile. He moves to his end step, Promise triggers, Justin sacrifices a vampire and creates another 4-3 demon. Blood Artist triggers, Emma loses a life, and Justin gains one. The turn moves to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays an island. He casts Mist Dancer. Emperor Mihail triggers, Ryan pays, and creates a Merfolk. Ryan moves to combat and his merfolk trigger through Hawkball. Ryan reveals a branching evolution into his graveyard, giving Emperor Mihail a plus one plus one counter. He reveals a Kapala, Warden of Waves, into his graveyard, giving Thieving Skydiver a counter. He reveals an island into hand, then reveals Zolatoyak, the Smiling Flood, leaving it on top, giving the rest of his creatures counters to explore. He attacks Justin with Hawkball. It triggers and Ryan draws a card. In response to attack, Ryan activates Rogue's Passage, making Hawkball unblockable. Justin takes seven and Ryan passes. Zeb draws and casts Admiral Brass, Unsinkable. It enters and Zeb mills four. He moves to combat and Admiral Brass triggers. Zeb returns Angrath's Marauders from his graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. He attacks Justin with Fathom Fleet Captain and his Pirate Token, attacks Ryan with Departed Deckhand, and Malcolm and Emma. Ryan and Emma take six, Justin takes twelve, and Malcolm triggers three times. Zeb creates three treasures, and in his second main phase he casts Zara, Renegade Recruiter. Finished up, Zeb passes. During Emma's upkeep, they reveal Regisaur Alpha through Descendant's Path, casting it. It enters, triggering itself, Dinosaur Egg, Verdant Sun's Avatar, and Pantlaza. Emma discovers four, revealing Path to Exile, casting it, targeting Engrath's Marauders. Marauders is exiled, and Zeb fetches up a mountain onto the battlefield tapped. Then Emma gains four life, Dinosaur Egg evolves, and Emma creates a 3-3 Dinosaur. Dinosaur Egg and Avatar trigger again, Emma gains three life, and Dinosaur Egg evolves again. Emma draws and casts Zakama, Primal Calamity. It enters, Emma untaps their lands, evolves Dinosaur Egg, and gains nine life. 
Emma moves to combat and attacks Justin with Zakama. Justin takes it, and in their second main phase, Emma casts Sunfrill Imitator, gaining 3 life. They recast Kinjali Sunwing, gaining 3 more. Emma passes. At the end of Emma's turn, Justin activates Viscerous here, sacrificing his vampire. It triggers through Clavellino, and Justin draws a card and creates a 4-3 demon. Blood Artist triggers, and Emma loses one and Justin gains one. Then Justin scries one and moves to his turn. Justin draws and plays a planes. He casts Pact of the Serpent. He names Demon and then loses 5 life and draws 5 cards. He casts Exquisite Blood. He moves to combat and attacks Emma with Nighthawk Scavenger and 4 demons. Nighthawk Scavenger becomes a demon through Clavellino, then Emma moves to blocks. Emma blocks one demon with Sunwing, takes 18, and Justin gains 24 life. Sunwing dies, Blood Artist triggers, Emma loses one, and Justin gains two through Exquisite Blood. Finished up, Justin ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays an island. He casts Sola Toyak, the Smiling Flood. It enters and puts a flood counter onto one of Emma's lands, making it an island. Ryan moves to combat and all of his merfolk trigger through Hawkball. He reveals Kinder Discovery, leaving it on top, giving all of his merfolk a plus one plus one counter. He attacks Emma with everything. Hawkball triggers and Ryan draws. Since all of his merfolk have Island Walk and Emma has an island due to the flood counter, Emma takes it all and dies. Exquisite Blood triggers and Justin gains 36 life. In his second main phase, Ryan casts Kindred Discovery. He casts Thassa, God of the Sea. He moves to his end step, Zalatoyak triggers, and Ryan untaps all of his permanents with counters on them. The turn passes to Zeb. Zeb draws and flashes back, Faithless Looting, drawing two and discarding two. He plays a Smoldering Marsh for turn. He casts Arm Mounted Anchor. He equips it to his Daring Saboteur. He moves to combat and attacks Justin with Daring Saboteur, Departed Deckhand, Malcolm, Admiral Brass, Fathom Fleet Captain, his Pirate Token, and Zara. Zara triggers, he looks at Justin's hand, putting Butcher of Malakir onto the battlefield tapped and attacking Justin. Then Justin takes 31. Malcolm triggers and Zeb creates a treasure. Then Zeb draws two and discards Dire Fleet Ravager through Arm Mounted Anchor, then draws and discards through Daring Saboteur. Zeb passes and Butcher of Malakir bounces back to Justin's hand. Justin draws and plays a Swamp. He casts Legion Lieutenant. He casts Cruel Celebrant. He casts Arcane Signet. He moves to combat and attacks Zeb with four demons, Nighthawk Scavenger, and Clavellino. Cunning Rhetoric triggers and Justin exiles a Plains. Zeb takes 25 and Justin gains 32. In his second main phase, Justin activates Viscera Seer, sacrificing Nighthawk Scavenger. Clavellino, Blood Artist, and Cruel Celebrant all trigger. Zeb and Ryan lose one, Justin gains one, Exquisite Blood triggers, and Justin gains two more. Then Ryan loses one and Justin gains one through Blood Artist, and then Justin gains one through Exquisite again. Then Justin draws a card and creates a 4-3 demon, then scries one. Justin repeats this process until each opponent is drained, and Justin wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun pre-con game. These pre-cons were very well matched against one another and it made for some awesome gameplay. Congrats to Justin on his win. He was able to build his engine slowly while keeping the focus of his opponents on each other instead of himself. Once his engine was online, he executed it and closed it out in quick fashion. A big thanks again to Justin Parnell and Emma for joining us in tonight's game. Check out their socials, give them a follow, and be sure to support their content. All links are in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this pre-con match. A big thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video. If you want to grab these decks, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.